Professionally, I was a herpetologist and a, a curator at the American Museum of Natural History for 35 years. But I always had a, a space in my interest for insects and butterflies particularly. When I came here, I was fascinated by the fauna, which, which I had seen earlier in several trips to work at the Southwestern Research Station here. And I began to, a study of the butterflies lived here and what their seasonal aspect and numbers was. This has gone on for a little over 20 years now. And I've uh, accumulated data on something like 160 species of butterflies out of the 180 that uh, are known to live here. And the reason for this, besides getting exercise and doing enjoyable work, these sort of data that I collect on the numbers of butterflies and the species active at various parts of the year are a form of data that is not much available but is very essential to the understanding of biodiversity. So what I'm intending to do here is provide a basis for further studies around here and for comparing the butterfly fauna of this area with that of other areas. So one of the things I've been doing is marking, that is by tagging, monarch butterflies. I thought it was one Nice sticky little tag that'll stay there. Never go. <laughs> when I capture a monarch butterfly, is to put a little paper tag with adhesive on it and stick that to the underside of one wing. And this has on it a code number so that anyone who catches that, that butterfly later can identify it as a particular individual and find out where it was when it was tagged. The tagging that has gone on here so far has been sufficient to get a, a few recaptures that demonstrate that monarchs from here may go to California or may go down in Mexico. So the object is to get a, enough records to make some sense out of this and find out why it's so. So that's what I'm doing and sort of an adjunct to my general study of the fauna here.